Chat, y'all know who it is. It's your boy, um, that guy. And today we got another one from Truly. My boyfriend asked my ex-husband to move in. Now, chat, if you have any self-respect, you probably wouldn't do this. But um, I see a lack of self-respect. And and our children. It's not. And our children. Ordinary. Hey, brother. We've had people in our personal life tell us that we're sinners, that we're. Sinners, where are you in Salem? Where are you? Where do you live in in the in the Papal States? Where are you in Victoria in Victorian England? Sinners, awful people. Today, oh, is that the first thing that comes to your mind? Where do you live? Get my ex husband's ex girlfriend is coming to visit. Who would want to live with someone that they were married to? What does the term? Brother, husband, be huh. good question. All right, mac and cheese is hot. All right, this is boyfriend, this is ex husband, and that's baby mama. Why would you want uh, my name is Megan? I am a mother of two. My boyfriend is Michael, and we've been together for about a year. Tyler's my ex-husband. We got married in January of 2020, and we got divorced in September of 2023. My daughter, Ryan. With a, with a strong, strong relationship built on the foundation of love and honesty. She's two years old, and my son, Juniper, is six weeks old. How do you guys divide household chores? Megan keeps the children alive, and Tyler and I do the dishes. We do the cleaning. We do the cooking. Jesus Christ, I know that meat doesn't have an ounce of seasoning on it. That shit just looks dry. Looks, it, it looks damn, it, lo it looks like gravel damn near. Like you're mixing around sand. I know them kids are gonna be choking that shit up like a Popeye's biscuit. That shit's gonna bring tears to their eyes. That's Tears inaccurate. of pain and anguish. Whose idea was it to live this way? It was him. No, no, Cuck, Cuck McGee. It was you. No, Cuck McGee. It was you. It was your idea. Yeah, it was my idea. My boyfriend was the one who brought up the idea of, hey, why don't we just all live together? Why the fuck? I mean, in this economy, you might have to. But I went. Obviously, at first, everybody was kind of against it. We all moved to the East Coast around the same time. Uh, once we realized that finances just weren't getting better and, you know. Damn, that's what I just said. I said, in this economy, you might have to do it. Damn, so they just moved it. It was a, it was a, it was a compromise. They, <laughs> money wasn't like. It was really impacting our daughter. We just said, let's do it. <laughs> money wasn't flowing. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Money wasn't flowing out like how it used to. What will each of the children call you? Well, I just calls me Michael. Sometimes she also calls me Tyler or Dad. And I'm like, nope, that's not right. I'm not Dad. Yeah, we correct her immediately. Since I stay home with the kids, I'm obviously around them the most. When Tyler wakes up, he'll kind of take over with Ryan. When Michael gets home, obviously he helps out with Juniper and with Ryan. What are some of the immediate benefits that you noticed? My daughter, for sure. She has been much more calm. She's obviously happier having both her parents around all the time. I just get to be closer to my daughter every single day. Honestly, doing it for finances is a valid reason in my eyes. Doing it for finances is a valid reason. If you can't find any other solution, doing it for finances is a valid reason. Now, we have seen a lot of other stories on Jubilee when it wasn't for finances, where it was just being, when retards, when retards group up and they get together, they come up with stupid ideas, you know what I'm saying? What level of like swallowing pride did it take to, to do this? It took a lot. And uh, I'd say it still takes a lot every day. It's hard, but it's really easy at the same time because it's just kind of like roommates. <laughs> that boy had to hold his tongue, bro. You, you, you was, you was swallowing a, a big pillow pride. <laughs> there had to be a lot of healing and a lot of personal growth no to liquids. even consider something like this. My boyfriend, my ex-husband, and I all just signed a lease together. What has the response been to you sharing your story? I feel like people forget 
like I <sighs> chat I'm not gonna say it. no I'm not gonna say that because we've seen an array of people on this show that have shown demonstrated stupidity and being dumb is like a is like a universal it, it, it crosses all borders all all people all races it is the it's one thing that unites humans as a whole the retards and and everybody now what i'm saying is not they're what they're doing at finances isn't dumb posting it on the internet is probably the dumb decision you made Oh my gosh, it's been mixed. People thinking it's awful and we're confusing the children. So what were some misconceptions people had about your- Why even post it in the first place? That's like, what, like, what do you achieve? What was the gain? What was the benefit? You do it for finances, you keep it to yourself and you keep it pushing. For family. They assume that we're a throuple for some reason. We're not a throuple. Please take that out of your minds. Well. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what could have- About your uh, family. What, what they, could have action had made me accuse you of such ludicrous ideas? I don't know. They assume that we're a throuple for some reason. We're not a throuple. Answering calmly asked questions about living in the townhouse with my ex-husband and boyfriend. Yeah, man, it's just like, what would make me think that, bro? Like, that's so weird. I don't know. Please take that out of your minds. Well, <laughs> it's a little bit understandable, but we are not. A lot of people think that we are horrible parents, that we're ruining Ryan's life, we're confusing her, which is also not the case. She uh, fully understands mom and dad are not together. One of my other buddies, he told me that I sold my soul for this. Sold um, your soul. Who do you guys hang around? The Knights Templar? Who do you hang around? Where people are calling you sinners and, and, and telling you you're making packs with the devil and shit. Who are you hanging around? You know what I'm saying? Jesus and his apostles? Like, who? which group of people are you out here? They're throwing all these, calling you a blasphemer and shit. Who are these people? Some other people said, good for you, but you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, I got probably, told I, prob probably a, a person subscribed to me. I wasn't a part of like Mexican heritage anymore. Oh yeah. I was, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with my heritage. We've had people in our personal life um, tell us that we're sinners, that we're awful people. Uh, and how about on the flip side of that, what about the supportive comments? So good for the kids, like this is gonna benefit them. They're gonna have so much time, get so much love. Some of our followers call us brother husbands. Hey, brother. What does the term brother husband mean? <sighs> good question. I think I'm still figuring that one out. <laughs> Kinda took it and ran with it, cause it's funny. There is no, Brother husbanding Fun, happening in, in, in <laughs> what <laughs> aspect? Clearly, I feel Clearly. like Omni is, is, is slowly taking a detour <laughs> towards true. like the pits of hell. How would you describe your relationship with each other? Because people say a lot kind of things of. is funny, but never laugh. <laughs> yeah. Definitely better. Definitely better. Which is the keystone for things being funny. Why they did not get along from the beginning. It took a very long time for them to even be in the same room. After I got over the fact that, you know, I have to live with my ex-wife's new boyfriend, we kind of just sucked it up and just became, I guess, I don't know, I'd say friends somewhat. So the first time he said that. <laughs> Tyler, has this living situation had an impact on your romantic relationship. Oh, geez. Uh, yes, heavily has an impact. My ex Hannah is coming over today and I'm not so sure how she felt about the living situation. Who gives a shit? She's your ex. She doesn't, she's not even an equation in, a, in this math problem. God, golly, you have a type. I am the ex-ish. If you want to call it that. X-ish? Where's the ish coming in? Where's What's this ish business? What are you doing that makes it not X? Not girlfriend. 
It was a... We were just, you know... Situation. We're like homies. Oh, shut up. Homies. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit deeper than homie. Well, before this gets less awkward... <laughs> Hannah, uh, how did you feel when Tyler told you about this living situation? <laughs> I thought it was a little weird, to be honest. Who would want to live with someone that they were married to? Like, obviously it didn't work for a reason, so like, why oh, are y'all putting yourself in a situation to on? where like, things could come up again? I'm pretty sure he actually texted me. <laughs> it was like- Tyler. Uh, I was like, yeah, she's probably gonna leave after I tell her this, so. Was that your intentions? Were you just trying to get me to leave faster? It wasn't you, it was me. It didn't really have that much of an impact on our relationship because it didn't really progress further afterwards. When he first told her, things were definitely a little rocky. I wasn't sure if she was gonna be the type of girlfriend that was gonna be like, no, you can't, you know, you can't do that. But it turns out, yeah, we went to lunch, lunch to talk about everything. I was vetting her for myself because I was like, if this goes anywhere, this person is gonna be eventually in the co-parenting pool of me, Tyler, and Michael. I definitely started rocking, but there's a happy ending because <laughs> now I got a full friend of it. I think he is a great guy and he's gonna make some girl very happy one day, but it was just not near him again. <laughs> I'm definitely not being his wing woman at all. Maybe further down the line. So next weekend? Yeah, maybe next weekend. How do you think this living situation impacts the children? I think it is positive. I think that they are all awesome parents. Their kids are very lucky to have all three of them, and I can't wait to see where life takes all of y'all. So you see how I skip past a majority of that, and, and most of it was just empty space? Like, I don't even know. Who gives a shit at the end of the day? Who actually cares?